Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Jen here. I'm really sorry if the bathroom is echoing a little bit, but today I'm going to be dyeing my hair back to brown. I know, if you follow me on Instagram, we've probably seen a bit of a mixture with brown, going back to like a balayage and then going to red, kind of like orange and then back to brown and then now this colour and yeah, I just thought I wanted to go back to brown again. I'm going to be using this hair dye, which is a permanent one and it's 4.15 iced coffee. And yeah, I mean, I think it's close to my natural hair colour. I think you can probably tell by my roots. I'm not professional whatsoever. I'm just dyeing my hair at home. Yeah, just following the instructions on the box, really. And if you want to be part of this with me, you can. But I don't recommend anyone doing this at home because everyone has different types of hair. So grab yourself a drink and get comfortable and let's jump right into it. So this is the box that you get. I'm really sorry if that lighting is reflecting on the camera. I've got a window right there, so I don't really know where to put you guys <laughs> so that the light is okay, but I hope you can see all right. So in the box, you get the nourishing cream, the developer cream and the restoring conditioner. So let's open it up and there you go. So we've got the developer here, the conditioner, which I'm assuming is for after. We've got the gloves and we've got the nourishing colour. Obviously the instructions which we might read or might not. Now nah, we're going to read it. So I think actually what I might do might make the process easier is to just brush out my hair just so it's easier. really tell how much my roots grew out as well it's like all the way back here crazy so it's telling me to unscrew the cap for the applicator bolt a this is b so we're gonna unscrew the cap and then you're gonna open the color cream tube remove the gray plastic ring Screw the cap back on, completely pierce the tube, remove the cap and squeeze the entire contents of the colour cream tube into the applicator. So we're going to squeeze B into A. It's probably a bit really boring for you guys. <laughs> but I have to just talk it out loud, otherwise I'm literally probably going to make a mistake here. I'm struggling with this, so we have to remove the grey plastic. Yeah, he did tell me that. And then you screw it back on and that's how it's going to pierce through the plastic in there. Not even entirely blonde at the moment. And <laughs> Right, so we're going to put all this in here. That's what it's meant to do, right? Hang on. Entire contents of, yeah, into the box. Okay, so re-screw after and shake the mixture vigorously for 30 seconds to ensure an even mixture. Okay, righty-o. So now I'm gonna put this back on there. Then we have to shake it vigorously for 30 seconds. Right, it's been 30 seconds and you're meant to screw the applicator immediately after mixing to avoid the bottle bursting and damage from the product overflowing. Oh no, it's already kind of overflowing. I'm going to wash my hands and this is why you do it with gloves from the start. So good. Alright, okay. So apply using applicator. Begin with the roots using the bowl to separate the hair section by section. Apply through the lengths and ends and massage well into the hair until the colorant is evenly spread. Leave to develop for 25 minutes if you have res... If you have resistant greys, leave for 35 minutes. But well, luckily, I haven't got any greys yet. So, let's just do this, guys. I'm 
don't think I have really a system to do. Excuse me. Don't think I have a system to do this really, but I'll just try and get the whole hair covered. Hopefully it will work. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I feel like I'm going to miss my blonde hair if I don't know. No, I think it'll be all right. Right, if you're wondering why I'm going to keep turning around, it's probably obvious, but I've got a mirror here. And yeah, so I'm going to be looking at that a lot. So I do apologise, but I just don't want it to be an absolute disaster. So <laughs> bear with me. By the way guys, I'm just putting a towel down on the floor because I'm starting to get some on the floor and I do not recommend that you're going to ruin your floors. And um, I also didn't mention, but I recommend wearing something you don't really care about because you're probably going to end up getting loads of hair dye on it. I do have to say guys, I forgot to mention, it's a good idea to also put some Vaseline around your hair, like your hairline, um, because I didn't, so I'm probably going to have hair dye just on my forehead. I'm going to try and wipe it now, but I feel like it's too late. This is why you don't Right guys, so I'm gonna take these gloves off. So now we wait and I am covered in hair dye, like I said. Looks like I've been rolling through mud, but I'm sure you'll wash it off. So I'm now gonna wait 25 minutes, probably watch some YouTube, and I'll be back to show you the results. So I already started to get quite dark to be honest. Oh gosh, look how bad they look. <laughs> Hopefully they'll come off. Yeah, they'll come off. But yeah, I will catch up with you soon. So guys, it's time to wash this off. Wish me luck. So guys, I'm now fresh out of the shower and we'll now dry my hair and then we're going to see what it looks like. Hey. Just in case you're wondering, I'm applying this Heat Protect by VO5. Right guys, are you ready for this review? Ta-da! <laughs> I actually love it guys. Honestly, I will say it's definitely a work in progress. If you look closely, you can see it's a little bit patchy, but we're not, we're not mad about it. Still, some of it looks a little bit nice, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely have to go over it again, but that's 
normal i mean i only bought one box of a hair dye that was my mistake my hair is pretty long so i should have probably bought two because um i don't think it was enough to cover the whole head but yeah nevertheless i'm very very happy with it i'm happy to be back to being a full brunette so yeah i mean i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's got a few hints of like red i don't know i quite like it though but yeah this is it from the back probably really see the patchiness now yeah i think i'll just dry it and yeah i'll just maybe put a little bit of oil on it sometimes after drying my hair with a hair dryer i like putting this oil on it this um miracle oil by aussie and i don't put that much i just put like three pumps two to three pumps I focus mostly on the ends of the hair. It smells amazing. And then I put some on the roots just to get the flyaways. And that's it, guys. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. I wonder what David's going to think about it. But I think he'll like it too. Anyway, if you have stuck till the end of the video, you're a trooper. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed bringing you along with me for this... Oh, it's not a journey, is it? <laughs> I was going to say journey. Well, it will be now because I'll have to probably put another hair dye on it. But yeah please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss my next videos and i'll see you guys next time bye bye